Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is a crucial one. For anyone who wants their car running smoothly and efficiently, we are all about bad oxygen sensors, symptoms, diagnosis, and repair options. So we will address each of the diagnostic methods and repair costs. What are oxygen sensors and why are they important? The oxygen sensor is one is an innovative device in your car that helps reduce exhaust emissions. The oxygen sensor monitors how well the fuel is burning inside the combustion chamber and helps the ECU adjust the air-fuel ratio and the post-catalytic converter O2 sensor monitors. How well your car catalytic converter is working is dependent on whether you have healthy or bad oxygen sensors, which is why they are extremely important. When they are bad, they present a lot of symptoms which we will get to in a bit. Let's quickly summarize this. Oxygen sensors are tiny but mighty components in your exhaust system. They monitor the amount of unburned oxygen in the exhaust gases. It then sends the situation of things to the engine control unit, ECU, which adjusts the air-fuel mixture for optimal combustion. A healthy air-fuel mixture translates to better performance, lower emissions, and improved fuel economy. Now, what are the symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor? 1. Check engine light. While this light can indicate various issues, it's a common symptom of a faulty oxygen sensor. 2. Poor fuel economy. A bad sensor throws off the air-fuel ratio, leading to inefficient fuel burning and decreased gas mileage. So if you notice your car taking up too much gas, then one thing to look out for is the faulty oxygen sensor. 3. Rough idle and engine performance. The engine might vibrate excessively, hesitate during acceleration, or even stall due to improper air-fuel mixture. This could be due to bad oxygen sensors, so be sure to check that using your scanner. 4. Black smoke from exhaust, diesel engines. Rich air-fuel mixture, too much fuel, can cause black smoke, especially noticeable under heavy acceleration. 5. Failed emissions test. Oxygen sensors directly impact emissions. A faulty one can cause your car to fail an emissions test. Important note. These symptoms can also be caused by other problems in the fuel and air intake system. Diagnosing the root cause is crucial. Methods to diagnosing a bad oxygen sensor. 1. Scan fault codes using the OBD2 scanner. This is the easiest method. Look for codes P0130 to P0167, which indicate oxygen sensor issues. However, some faulty sensors might not trigger a code. 2. Live data monitoring. Using an OBD2 scanner that supports live data allows you to see the oxygen sensor's voltage output. A healthy sensor's voltage should fluctuate consistently. Inconsistency or sluggish response indicates a problem. Three, professional diagnosis. If you're unsure or uncomfortable with DIY methods, a mechanic can use specialized tools for a more accurate diagnosis. Now let's look at what it will cost to repair a bad oxygen sensor. 1. Cost of sensor. Oxygen sensors range from $80 to $150, with OEM parts costing more for newer vehicles. 2. Labor cost. Replacing the sensor can be tricky due to heat and corrosion. Expect labor costs between $50 and $100, depending on location and complexity. 3. DIY option. With an oxygen sensor socket, around $10, and some mechanical knowledge, you can replace the sensor yourself. However, ensure you have the proper tools and confidence before attempting this. Additional tips to keep in mind. One, there can be multiple oxygen sensors in a car. The diagnostic tools will help identify which one is faulty. Two, a bad oxygen sensor can damage your catalytic converter in the long run due to improper air-fuel mixture. Three, regularly maintaining your car, including air filter changes, can help prevent oxygen sensor problems. A faulty oxygen sensor can cause a range of issues, but it's crucial to diagnose the problem accurately to avoid unnecessary repairs. This video equips you with the steps to help you identify symptoms, choose a diagnosis method, and understand the repair process. Remember, a healthy oxygen sensor translates to a happy car and a happy wallet. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about oxygen sensors or car maintenance in general, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative car care content. I will see you in my next video. Bye.